All right, today we're going to be installing a wired controller kit uh, with the sub PCB. I'm just gonna kind of show you what comes in the box when you get the kit. Uh, we have our user manual, our installation manual, our connecting cable from the thermostat to the indoor unit, our harness that goes to the sub PCB that connects the interconnecting cable to the sub PCB. All right, you have a couple of extra harnesses here with some connections. Uh, we won't be using that today. And then we have our wired wall stat. Go ahead and open that up here. This is the MWR WHOOU. And we have our sub PCB. Go ahead and open this up and kind of show you what it looks like. Nothing major there. And that is it. Uh, so we're just gonna put the box to the side. This holder is for the sub PCB. It does not come in the kit. It is actually in the box from factory with the unit itself. This is the casing that your sub PCB is gonna go into and it'll snap in place and hang inside the unit. Uh, we'll get into that in a second. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move to the unit now and show you how to put this all together. Okay, so we made it to the indoor unit. Uh, I've already taken the bottom cover off for videoing purposes. Um, the indoor unit comes with a connector that's going to plug into our sub-PCB board. Uh, it's normally mounted somewhere around in this area. It could be taped or zip-tied. It looks like this. And we have our uh, case for our sub PCB. If you look, here's the receiver eye in the box. It's gonna go right here on the side. You're just gonna clamp the bottom and push and you'll hear it snap into place. So that's in place. Now we're ready to put our sub PCB there. Okay, so here's our sub PCB. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and plug the harnesses in uh, before we put the sub PCB in place. Uh, just make sure when you're doing this, you had a, the unit powered off for 15 minutes and the unit's powered off for this installation. So this connector with the unit is gonna go right here in the center plug. Just push it in and make sure it's secure. Next, you're gonna get this harness. It has a white end with orange and yellow wires and a blue end with blue and red wires. And then it has a four wire connector with all the wires coming in it. This is the end that actually plugs into the sub PCB. And it's gonna go right here, white to white. Make sure it's in there secure. So we have our plugs in. So we're gonna secure the sub PCB in here. You just kind of put it into place here and it will snap in. Right there, there's a little tab here that kind of you might want to pull out to push it up and secure it. So now, these are the wires we're going to be working with. Uh, we're going to end up cutting these two plugs off. And yellow, when we go to the thermostat, is going to be V1. Orange is V2. Red is F3, and blue is F4. Okay, so we have our connectors here. Uh, this is the junction box that we're going to be installing the wired remote control. Uh, you're gonna need your uh, interconnecting cable. So you're gonna need four butt connectors to connect your interconnecting cable with your sub PCB harness. So we're gonna go ahead and take the rubber band off here. It comes with three ring connectors. Uh, we're just gonna kind of feed that through the unit. So now I got everything ran in our junction box. We're going to go ahead and cut off these connectors 
and strip the ends down, uh, probably about a half inch. Um, here we go. You can just cut them all at once. So in this scenario, you're just gonna go wire for wire. All right, so we got everything stripped back. We're just gonna do wire for wire. We have a butt connector. Just gonna put it on there. Make sure it's secure. Do the next one. Have our crimpers. There's those, and then we'll do the other two. Okay, now we have everything uh, butt spliced. We have our cable in place. Uh, we're ready to get the thermostat and attach the mounting plate. And then we will plug in our harness to our thermostat and then mount our thermostat. All right, here's our thermostat. And here is the back plate. Uh, if you face your thermostat towards you and kind of hold the back and push up with your thumbs, it'll detach just like that. And we're going to mount this here. Don't forget to pull your harness through the square hole in the middle here. That way we can plug it into the thermostat, get it started. All right, so it's mounted securely there. This is our thermostat. Here's the receptacle this plug is gonna go plug into. And it'll plug directly in. Uh, some thermostats will vary. You may have screw terminals, you may have a plug um, this particular thermostat has dip switches. If you look here, it kind of tells you what each dip switch does. In this video, we're going to turn on dip switch 4, which changes it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. And we're also going to turn on dip switch 5, which has the unit reading from our temperature sensor in our thermostat versus the indoor unit. So here is our dip switches. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. Sometimes you may want to use your phone and blow it up with your camera or maybe a magnifying glass. Uh, four and five are actually the center two dip switches. So there's a coating over the dip switches. You're going to break the coating and press up. There was four and then five press up. So there we go. Now we're going to secure the thermostat to the wall. Flip it back around. It goes slightly above and then you press down and our thermostat is secure. We're ready to turn the unit on and turn the thermostat on and test it out. All right, so now that we applied power, this is the screen you're going to see. All the display will light up. Now we're counting zero, and we're doing a circle of dashes. Right now the thermostat and the indoor unit are trying to connect. Uh, once connected, we should see a zero one here. Uh, if you have multiple indoor units connected to one thermostat, then it'll sh display the number of indoor units that it is connected to. So just give it a second, we'll let it boot up. Okay, so now we got a one displayed. It did find the indoor unit, so that's good. Okay, so now that it stopped flashing, it's ready to turn on the thermostat. We're just gonna press the power button. I heard the unit chime. And here are your buttons. You have your on timer, off timer, set cancel, mode, quiet, swing, sleep, filter reset, and temp. Uh, in this case, we're just going to press a mode. 
We're gonna put it in cooling mode and drop the temperature down. That's how you wire up a thermostat. For service manuals and other documentation, please visit our website at samsunghvac.com or use our Samsung HVAC mobile app to download any technical documentation. Thank you.